I'm gonna go ahead and start record so we don't mess that up. That it's recording. Da, 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 da. Oh, Hola. Man. Who's Squishy oh, Twitchy is already here. Your favorite da? your favorite bot. Bots don't leave, Joe. I don't know why you're surprised by this. They never leave. There's some what time is it? Just like Rick, Rick Astley. Okay, there's something. Oh yeah, we got a new experience of the week. I forgot about that. Hey there, my name is Tom, and these are the experiences. That's right. Hey there, my name is. Tom. Oh. Hey there, my name. Apparently, is Tom, I don't have it to stop. And these are the experiences. I muted you. <laughs> and I want to add, we got something new in the emails today. Actually, we got two news. Two, two this new is things such in the email. One I have to go dig for. All right, put it in our notes. Did you see in our notes? That's why I started notes early. Uh, down towards the bottom, Brian Salazar. And then I copied oh, yeah. his. Maybe I should actually copy the notes over. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. Oh, you put it all on Reddit and you didn't put it in? Exactly. Okie dokie dokie. exactly what I did. What did you put in here? Uh, well, it's just uh, an email, but I got to go to his email and get... Oh, okay, okay. Music. We got somebody submitting music to us. Finally. I'm happy with that. That's right, because you asked for it a while back, and you were like, why isn't anybody sending it to us? And then we were like, wait, we're not getting any yeah. email. <laughs> oh, yeah. well. And so, for all we know, you missed out on a bunch. You know, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, all right. Oh. Sal, hello, hey. Shiftworks, House Canada. All right. Uh... How do I do? Let me get my routing. I need to record this. I'm going to actually, you might not hear me either. So I mute you. Sometimes it meets my mic to you. Um, but I'm going to. Okay. You're not muted right record. now. Man. I know. I'm going to record this music real quick. So I'm taking myself offline, but you'll still see me basically. Sound wise, I'm offline. Ooh. And I'll be right back. Smokey, have the, uh, have We're the fires it. Made, its way, made their way into Canada? I know they're burning in Washington. Oh, it's huge. blowing. So the the smoke is blowing up, or the or the fires have come up. I I know that you said the smoke is blowing up, but have the fires actually spread up that far? Okay, the smoke and the ash. Yeah, I've got siblings that live in southeastern Washington, and yeah, they're saying. They basically just stay inside with their air conditioner on. I'm sure they're going to have to buy new filters basically immediately after all this is over or maybe during. Those little air filters. And yeah, the two the two sets of people who, who were responsible for at least two of those fires absolutely are going to see major financial problems. Yeah, there were. Yeah, it I, it sickens me that there are people that actually have been uh, setting the fires. Well, the two that I heard of, one was not. Neither one was intentional. Oh, some of them I've heard of were intentional. Like there was a guy in Oregon who fully admitted to it was put in jail, let out within 24 hours, and went and tried to start six more. That, that yeah, the two I thought of was uh, the gender reveal, which is always a stupid thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the gender reveal couple, that's one, one, there are two people, that's one uh, thing that started for, because I know from history, in the last decade or two, when it's traced back directly to somebody, whether they intended to or not, they did something reckless and stupid like this, it wasn't just a gender reveal where they popped a balloon and there's pink or blue confetti or you hit a base. No, they had fireworks in an area that has this beautiful, and they said, uh, wherever this was, I don't know the location, but 
um, it's it people go there for pictures all the time because the grass is tall and wavy, but it turns this golden brown in the fall. Like it's really because it's beautiful. dried up and ready to exactly. burn. Uh, and yeah, so they went there to do their dinner event, and the fire, the fireworks just blew it. I mean, it's, and then I forget what the other one was, but somebody else doing something dumb, but not intentional. No, they will pay. It costs millions and millions of dollars. Not even talking about the damage. They they will be held responsible. And pay, they'll have to pay for that. Um, I can't remember. It, I, I I haven't looked to see if this is true or not. But if I remember correctly, the person who started. Like what? Like the first person to do the gender reveals regrets doing it. Well, good because it's stupid. It's about as dumb as a wedding video, <laughs> with all the the special dances. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I've talked to my wife. We talked about this on uh, almost daily discourse last week because uh, apparently it turns out not only Phil but Tony also was a wedding videographer, and they. They just have nothing good to say about it. I was like, no, I get that. My video was literally a camera on a stand. And it's only because I wanted to capture one moment. And my my ring bearer, I worked uh, for this ambulance company that had this huge, uh, like a three-foot, maybe two-and-a-half-foot tall ambulance that looked like the ambulance I worked on with mo you know, moving eyes, and it lights up, this sirens, and it's remote control. So I worked it out with my boss. He, he had the remote control, and it was hidden off to the side. So when it's time to do the rings, here comes the ambulance all lit up emergency and, and it's all, and it was a great moment. That's the reason I wanted the video. So, you know, my wife and I go, Oh yeah, man, that was really cool. We haven't watched that video. I mean, it's on VHS now, so we haven't watched it in forever because of that. But even well, VHS still was a thing. We had VCRs. We didn't watch it. You know, and Tony's even said, yeah, I've been rehired to do a second and a third wedding for the same person. <laughs> it's, 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 pictures, pictures are perfect. Pictures are easy to sit down and flip through. You know, I don't know why people do. Anyway, but yeah, gender reveal. Is it about well, that? And, and what's nice about pictures, especially nowadays, is there are actually there are apps where you can take a picture through the app, and it automatically uh, uploads the pictures to a single file for the couple. So that's, oh, okay. that's cool. That 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 is that that's the new tech version of putting uh, little disposable cameras on tables. Yeah. Now, I always thought that was a cool idea, too. Let me see what that, you were That's what we you. did. <laughs> yeah. Because it's a fun thing. Anyway, it is time to get started. We got a bunch of random, super random pictures. And there were a couple of pictures inside people's pockets because they had wound them up and stuck it in their pocket. So I, I don't know if it's the mustache taking away from the brain power, but time to get oh. started is usually a cue for shut up. <laughs> And welcome. I thought Joe was going to take it. And welcome to Pokemon Go Podcast. Oh, for all the non iTunes listeners, we love you so much. Screw iTunes. Screw up <laughs> iTunes. You can't hear us right now because the feed is broken, but only in iTunes. All right. That's my rant. I am Rock Out Podcast, Charles Fall. There is Joe underscore cool here with us <laughs> today. Underscore What's up, Joe? Cool. You're right. Mustaches yeah. only work on like one percent of men. Um, for those that are not tuning in live, one of my sons has asked me to grow a mustache. I do not like it, but the things you do for your kids. See, to me, that's just bad parenting. Good parenting, be like, no, nah, man. Let me teach you some taste. Taste is this is not going to work. You know, here I'll put on a paper one. We'll play, you know, cops and robbers or something. But yeah, no. So I've told Joe to shut up, and I told him he's a bad parent. I'm not having a good night tonight, Joe. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's not do that anymore. Um, hey. oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. We've got we've got a piece of audio here for us. And oh, I have to starting right off the bat with audio. Yeah, we're starting right off the bat with audio, theoretically, if I can find. I have, I have all these buttons now. People are sending us audio. It's so cool. I haven't done it enough to remember which <laughs> Because our email is working again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here we go. Yeah, we're, we're here just we go, having Joe. all kinds of technical issues. Yeah. Well. Hey there, my name is Tom, and these are the experiences of, of the, the week. week. What do you got, Joe? What's up? 
<laughs> um, so I have been crazy busy this week. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie, but I did uh, I did do a Chris Elliott raid with you guys, and I did catch a few other things. I got myself an Obstagoon, so that's pretty sweet. Do you have one of wow. these guys? I I, I evolved I, it, I, and I was like. I was like, this is right up Charles's alley. Yeah, man. The Kiss Army has invaded Pokemon Go. So that, that thing is wicked. That is the fully evolved form of a Galarian um what you call Zigzagoon? it? Zigzagoon? Uh yes, Zigzagoon. Yep. Just a goon is is what made me guess that. Yep, yep, yep. So Oh man, so I don't have a so Galarian. This, this little guy here, this Galarian Zigzagoon, yeah. turns into this guy a werewolf obstagoon um but yeah so got got one of them got a chrysalia um I, i've caught a few other things here and there but nothing too crazy exciting oh wait i forgot there's more. i got an alolan what or an Alo- a shiny alolan raichu i did forget about that experience um i caught that on sunday while my wife was driving so, nice. Because it is not advised to play and drive unless you're using a Gotcha or a Go Plus. Yeah, which kind of brings us to my experience of the week. <laughs> is my Gotcha is still dead, and that's what I was telling Joe pre-show. I was like, "Yeah, you know, I go to get in the car to go up to this military base, and I go to hit the button. It's like, oh yeah, it's it's not working now. I need to charge it, but it's time for me to go. I mean, I've, I'm on a deadline. I gotta get things done, so I leave." And then when I get home and I can take it out because the charger's in the house, when I get home, I can take it out and put on charger. I'm exhausted and just ready to be home, right? Because I've been gone for three days teaching and whatnot. So I forget about it until the next time I get in my car. So I still haven't caught anything this week. But I did, like you said, I did a Cresselia raid. And that thing was slippier than baby, baby snot on a watermelon going downhill, man. It was, it was, every time I thought it was like, <laughs> what no! is that analogy? No! no it's just i could not i mean it, it would hit i'd be just outside the ring every time he gets a few nice throws. i didn't catch it is, is the point that thing is gorgeous i do have one i do have one already but that thing is gorgeous looking at it, it's like man that's so pretty is this shiny and it wasn't but that i was like okay I mean, either way it's just Griselli is probably one of the prettiest i think uh, uh pokemon in the game so far so uh I, you know so i guess my experience we'll get to it later but my actual experience is the fans, man. As Joe said, we do have our email working now. Show at PokemonGoPodcast.com works. But the iTunes feed does it. And quite literally, you can be on Patreon. You can go to Anchor.fm and subscribe. You can go to Stitcher, Spotify, everywhere else in the world that you can get podcasts. We're up to date. iTunes. So that's been a downer this week. But uh, we've gotten not one, but two pieces of music sent in to us from our peoples. And it made me so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. So there is that. But Joe, we've got some. So speaking of Patreon, we have a Discord attached to our Patreon. Patreon.com slash Pokemon Go Podcast. And you can get into this. And uh, Barry did a trade to get a. Is that a shiny cool fish? That's shiny cool fish. Yes. It's a Mary Kay quill fish. Yeah, we talked about that one last week. So we're actually on. Oh, because uh, that the, was the day of? The, and they got it in early. Okay. The so Buffalant. The, the Lucky Buffalant. So Barry Barry has so many of these now. Well, not Lucky, but he has so many Buffalants. Um, let's see. And then USA so got the Hundo. Uh, uh, Ab- no, Obama Snow. No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, the, the little form, forward. Snover. Snover. Obama is the 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 big boy. Evolution. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Buckeye Fitzy. Oh, that is a. Um, it's not the right name. But it's a dark. Uh, Umbreon. Neon. Umbreon is it Umbreon. It is Umbreon. Ah, I got it right. Cool. That is cool. Um, I got a Weedle and an Umbreon. So for for his birthday. So congratulations, Buckeye Fitzy. That's awesome. What Nolte get there? Oh, you're you're battling. I'll keep. Going I am down. battling. So, but what Nolte got is two shiny Cresselia, Ooh. a shiny, four shiny oh four, Cresselia. a shiny Venusaur, and a shiny Charizard. Charizard. Very nice. 
Coach Cav, so, Frog Club member. The reason I'm battling, if you don't recall, tonight is um, the that Go Battle League event. Oh, this is the event going on right mm-hmm. now. We mm-hmm. knew we talked about how our show is going to get crunchy. Honestly, we're going to need to be battling during the middle of it, which does <laughs> not make for a good show. I think we'll pull. Look, Stunky, you. I'm just running away. You are not worth that kind of effort. <laughs> I do not care. Well, I throw two premier balls at you, and you just like no. Nobody wants your stinking butt anyway. Get out of my Ooh, game. And experience of the week are coming in right now. Literally. So I'm on the Cristalia, uh Yeah, today, 806. Coach Kev, Frog Club member, got a 100% Cresselia. Yeah. And what else did he pop in here? Uh, shiny Gaslin, a shiny, shiny Drapion. <laughs> and in that screenshot is... <laughs> it, it, it's on, it's on, is us talking. Up my hands it the is camera. the stream. <laughs> oh i love it i love it That's so awesome. yeah there is that uh you know big shout out to um um oh man i could have got his name so i tried to get his name um uh, he's in england he calls in from time to time he's got his own stream oh come on joe you're not helping me here man uh tom <laughs> no, joe. i don't know if tom has a stream well, you know who you are. I cannot. You know, I'm describing you to a T. Jacket K. Oh, okay, Jacket yeah, yeah, yeah. K. I think even Coach Ked said Tom. I know Jacket K. He was really helpful in connecting uh, me and Cheeky Nashville this week, and and he's been retweeting that the iTunes feed is broken. And here's how you fix it. So, yo, know, thanks, man. You 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 really uh, helped yeah, us out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, uh, we raided him while he was uh, not active. He was away from his keyboard. He was AFK. <laughs> that was that was like a month and a half ago but yeah i remember uh, that all right let's see so that's the experiences of the week yeah that's everything there yes yes it is all right so you know what we do hop in a quick little break here and then we're gonna jump into all actually you know what here's an easy tra- easier transition joe let's do that discussion point since it's actually not a headline it's a pullback from mm, last week okay and okay then we'll do into the break so uh, you know, we started throwing out a question. Oh, you know, the la- we, we want to put out questions. We love the interactivity, right? We want you to be able to respond and Reddit's one of the easiest ways to do it. So over on uh, reddit.com slash r slash Pokemon go podcast. Joe, you had posted a question. Yeah. So last week, um, for those that have the feed, we, we asked, uh, what do you enjoy about PVP in Pokemon go? Cause you and I are both we we don't really care for pvp it's there we do it every now and again just like i did earlier what during the stream yeah uh but we don't go out of our way to do pvp and so we did get um three comments on the thread so barry folk at least i'm assuming this is barry since it's the same uh, reddit name as he uses in discord uh folk b and he says to be frank or barry Again, that's very full. Uh, I'm not really into PB- PvP. I think it's cool, just doesn't really do it for me. I'll leave it to the experts. So, again, uh, that's echoing exactly our thoughts on it. Uh, Lamb Kyle, uh, he's he is very active because he's in uh, the GSTU Discord. He's in our Discord. Yep. He's all over the place. Uh, but anyway, Lamb Kyle says... Uh, he he barely plays, and he has zero interest in PvP. So it sounds like he's not playing a whole lot of Pokemon Go at the moment right now. At least that's what it sounds like. But PvP is definitely not where he's using his time. And then Fish Star Zero Eight um, says, honestly, I really enjoy PvP. So here we go. Here's someone that that really really likes PvP. And it is, it is really nice for casual players who don't spend money on the game because of the rewards such as rare candy. It brings That's fair. Yeah, that's very fair. It brings a competitive side to Pokemon Go, which I really like. It helps many players who don't go out and are in home quarantine. The rewards could be a little better in my opinion. However, overall, it is an awesome feature of the game to me. And... I, I agree with a lot of the points here. Um, it is a good feature, and there are a lot of people that like it. And, and Fishstar himself, or herself, I don't know which way, um, 
it, it, he admits that the rewards could be better. And that was one of our big points last week is PvP is okay, but we don't really feel any reason to play it other than to fulfill quest rewards. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm with you. But yeah, um, there are people that really like it. We just I really was hoping like Rock Eddy or, or somebody because I know like even Terry the Wolf gets in and does self road leagues and those kind of things. I wonder um, if I haven't heard whether or not uh, Terry ended up getting a new phone yet. Because if he doesn't, oh yeah, because he's got an update. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna not be able to play Pokemon Go. What? Let's blame iTunes on Terry because he won't update his <laughs> phone and it broke the feed and nobody can hear the show except those who are smart and came over to where we are now. So. You know what? Maybe we just need to take up a collection to get him a new phone or something. <laughs> it, we it, think of it. it really would be a shame to lose Terry as a, as a player, though, to be honest. Uh, Shiftworks is, co- is actually commenting on the discussion point. Uh, here live in chat saying that ranking up is becoming harder and harder for each season and the rewards are not worth the effort to him. Um, and I 100% agree. So we talked about it last week, a lot of the issues surrounding PVP. Um, now, right now we don't have the walking requirement, but if that ever comes back, right. I can almost guarantee PVP will be way 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 worse than it even is now if they don't make some serious changes um i think they're going to lose a lot of people as far as pvp goes and um so because at that point you either have to get to walking or you have to pay for pvp and because you can use raid passes to access pvp without the walking requirement and i just i don't see i don't see that working now that people are so used to just being able to click on it and use pvp and it's already something that people yeah even without the walking requirement people are like eh pvp um at least a lot of people are and so i if they bring back the walking requirement that's basically a nail in the coffin uh and then coach kev provides a counterpoint um coach kev says that he has earned over 3 million stardust in uh, doing league battles. And so to to him, that is 100% worth it. Okay. But but, mm, worth it to play or worth it to walk and play? You know, because I think it's probably worth it to play. Um, In every game I've ever played that had any kind of ranking system, you had the show I do right after this one, and night is is uh, uh, about Marvel Strike Force, and they have arena battles, and they have blitz battles, and they have rewards. And blitz is kind of kind of like PvP, I guess. So is arena. But the whole point is, every time you have something like, okay, when I first started playing that game three years ago, you need to make about a million points to be number one, and that's where the most right, the most things was, most uh, uh, prizes were. Now, where the, they have just recently adjusted it, the prizes are better. And you're gonna get stuff out of it, but still to get in that top ranking would get a lot of prize for it. Say you know, league you know, rank seven or higher with Pokemon Go Battle League, right? Um, you have to do almost like 40 million points. So it doesn't matter how strong I get and how much better I get at it, that goalpost just exponentially just keeps moving forward because of people who can buy their way in with stuff, right? They can buy the extra passes to do more raids or the extra stardust or whatever, you know, I'm not dogging on. That's what keeps the game running. But yeah, that's where, when you're saying, uh, ranking up is coming harder and harder for each season. I, I don't know how anybody can fix that because every game I've ever played, that's exactly how that goes. You just stay essentially what you can already do. And you don't really well, progress past that. And I, I understand that, but the problem with Pokemon go specifically is that the ranking is becoming harder and harder not because people are getting better. It's because pe- people are no longer playing, a.k.a. there's less fodder for you to get points from. It makes it a smaller, it's, well, it makes it a smaller pool, too. Yeah. Because if, if you find a 1,000 people you know, and you're 500th place, that's significant. 
to fight a hundred people in their fiftieth place, statistically a lot less significant. You know, as far as prizes go. Well, and and statistically, there's fewer people at each rank, and so it, that also messes with matchmaking yes. as well. Um, so it's either it, it, and I mean this happens to games all the time. It's either you wait forever to have a fair match, or mm-hmm. you just they don't care and you just get a whole bunch of unfair matches as far as the ranking system goes. And right yeah. now you, the unfair matches is how they're, how they're doing it. Uh, and I get that because I've seen other games where, uh, the top tier people have to wait 30 to 40 minutes just to get in game. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, I, I hope I do. I, I do hope those who enjoy it really keep enjoying it. I, it needs to be fixed with a question mark because <laughs> of, of those issues, but everything we both to, said. To be honest, I think if they increased the rewards from it, it would re incentivize people to come back to it, and that would fix well, okay. a lot of the issues. I, I think most games honestly can be fixed with passes, season passes, right? That give you stuff and that puts money into the game. And it usually, if you buy some kind of season pass, it gets you extra access to things you know um in my case a plan call of duty i can i'll buy the season pass and the first four ranks just open right up for you and at the end when you get to rank 99 or whatever there's still multiple prizes so for at the end what would the season pass do here make it so that you climb up the ladder quicker or yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't want to try to go, oh, this is how I'd fix the game. Cause I don't know. I'm not in, as invested in this. There's smarter people than I to discuss it. But yeah. Okay. So season pass would get you, um, uh, depending on how they work it. Some season passes drop stuff in your lap, right? So it gets you. What if it doubles oh, the rewards? There you go. Some season passes do that. Yeah. And doubles so, or even triples the rewards. Obviously, you, it wouldn't double the number of Pokemon you caught, but it could double the candy. And then yeah. if you pin apped it on top of that, that would be 12 candy, which could be a, enough incentive for some people to buy a season pass. Right. Um, and then I'm sure there's ways to do it in the battling, right? Uh, uh, with, with, you know, you, you get, you get your rent, you get your regular league, uh, uh, basically whatever they call it. Then you get the one you can use the premium pass for the premium league. Yeah. yeah. And then I think there's even something else, but um, it, you know, you get, premium rate passes and if you are for, as part of your your season pass right and if you go into a premium league and you have a pass your pass holder it it doubles rewards there as well because there's five rewards if you win five battles you get five rewards so it, it even if it's not ranking you up faster right so it's not a pay to play to get ahead it's still going oh but if i battle who cares if i only win three of the rewards out of those rewards i got double or triple you know out of it and then it's there uh coach kev is saying i believe some sort of subscription option was found in the code maybe that's similar to a season pass yeah you know something and a lot of times with the rate with with battles you can rank up faster like okay if you have the pet you're a vip right instead of calling it season pass call it the vip holder your vip you start at rank three so you're automatically going to get these gifts given to you and that clears out rank one and two for the newbies and everybody you know whoever else and then you start at rank three and then that condenses the vip yeah i don't know it's just a thought interesting so yeah that vip subscription that was found a few months ago and they haven't done anything with it yet we'll have to wait and see what they what they do with it well let's make that the question of the week if there's a VIP pass, what do you want out of it, and would you pay for it? I guess how much? I'm thinking ten bucks, you know, a month or something, but maybe twenty, depending on the rewards. Um, but yeah, yeah you so, know, I'm liking this. We should have a, a discussion item of the week every time. Yep, I agree. I'm with you. So we'll put it in Reddit, and then I'll get the Reddit link, and we'll put it out on all the socials, and so everybody can kind of be driven in, or at least answer, you know, one way or another. So with that being said, now we'll put it in the marker. And we're gonna run the commercial. We'll be right back. I think you have to run the commercial. Yep. All right. Mm. 
Oh, I'll miss you, Erdos. Er, yeah, er, 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 I don't think I'm saying the that red right. spider. Yeah, Ariados, Ariados. I don't know. It's just a cool, different one, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very fun. All right. Now, uh, we're not. We're not. We're coming back cold. So let me put in a thing because I want to introduce. Actually, you know what? I won't do that. I'm gonna play some music, and then we'll we'll explain it later. Okay, that's a cool commercial. It's a new, I think, Galaxy and the with the cameras and and there. Of course, they went with three. You had the new Galaxy Note twenty. I think you skipped a few numbers there, probably. <laughs> All right. Uh, ah, I see they went the. Uh... The iPhone route. Oh, wow. We're just yeah. going to skip numbers. It's all good. Let, Joe, let's make a new phone. and just, it'll, it'll be the, the <laughs> underscore phone 2000. We'll just we'll, skip right to 2000. We'll just use a random number generator. Sometimes it'll yeah. go up. Sometimes it'll go down. It'll down. I love it. And, and you know what? <laughs> Maybe we'll even throw in some letters. and <laughs> It'll be great. Yeah. It'll be great. Okay. Now, now I want to do that with the podcast. Just random number generator episode 5,423. What? You did episode one yesterday. Ah, that's a random number. It's funny to me. All right, I'm gonna put in the marker, and here comes some new music. Actually, before let me, let me. Oh no, yeah, it's. I know where it is. It's on my thing here. All right, and marker, and here we go. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. <laughs> oh, I oh, do. This is the uh, Apple Pen guy. Pen oh, Apple. is that Apple him? Pen. Okay. Yeah. I, I, my kids watched this video the other day. So uh, we'll get to it after the news, but we had this sent to us by a listener. And uh, yeah, it's, it's great. I haven't got to cut out my favorite parts yet. Thanks. You finally, I, you're not finally, but I'm excited. I'm excited that I got a listener to go and they found some music and they sent it to us for when we come back from break. Thank you. So, so good. So good there. Okay. All right. We're back. And before we get the headlines, we get a chat message here. Devo Sykes says, One of my personal joys is to beat the top tier Pokemon with more common ones. And the rewards are nice too. So that's they're putting in on the discussion that we have where where they like to play the uh play play the the PvP battle. So very cool. All right, Joe, we got some headlines. And this oh yeah. Update. There was a massive bug that nobody wanted fixed. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. And its name is Mega Beedrill. I mean All right. Yes. So this massive bug that was discovered um makes it so that all the mega buffs are applied twice so uh they get a 145 percent buff from being mega now I, I don't know if this is fixed because we did get a a, a patch um just this past week uh, i don't know if you've downloaded that yet but uh yeah no, you know. I think my okay. game updates in the background, so I think it it's probably been taken care of. And so, yeah, so fun times for those that could afford it. So, yeah, check. that's fun. And there's a the link here actually has a lot of breakdown on it. Yeah, so they and they, I I actually really like articles that do this because a lot of articles these days are just repeats of a, of Reddit posts. Um, and they, they cited the Reddit post that did a lot of the work, but then they go on to complement it with a ton of examples and a ton of explanation and yeah, really, really good. So they've got 20 different raids that are, I think, well, they say there were 20 different raids analyzed, but they've got one, two, three, four, five videos here as well. And yeah, just, yeah. yeah. Uh, the summary is like if you happen to be able to take the advantage of this bug it may take it may make for some pretty entertaining videos as you pulverizing your opponent we expect some crazy duos to come out in the next few days until this is patched hopefully niantic will agree that mega's not buffing themselves is confusing and should also be fixed and that now is a little side note if you read the whole thing uh so very very cool um 
Yeah, as soon as I saw that headline, I was like, yeah, no, that's one of those headlines where I'm not going to discover it because I still have not done a mega evolution at all. <laughs> I don't think about it, you know? Yeah. Uh, now, and, and, and I don't know if it's sad news, but it's news that we knew was coming because they announced that uh, Jesse and James are leaving Pokemon Go. Uh, they 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 got tired of not being able to hear the show on iTunes and said we're out. We can't do this anymore. <laughs> uh, so coming up Tuesday, uh, Tuesday the twenty second through Wednesday September thirtieth, the Meowth balloon will be appearing more than usual, and you know you'll get double the radars, right? Double the candies ish. Yep. I mean, not really literally double because the they don't they use different Pokemon, but still, yeah, you know, double prizes and double the shadow pokemon there you go although it's the um, same shadow pokemon but if you're if you were hoping to get shiny shiny shadows of uh ekans or coughing this is a great opportunity for you yes uh i would love to have i don't have a shiny of either one of those i would I say love love as in i love all shinies so that's cool uh but specifically for them it's all right but yeah if i see the the old cat head up here in the sky. I'll smash it with my finger. It'll be all right. Do you like how I make sure to go to old.reddit.com for you, Joe? So I you do. Click. I do like Anyways. old. I, yeah. I I do not like the new fandangled Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we've got this asset update that came into the game. Um, or is coming. I don't know if it came in or is coming. It's from data miners. Right. Cast form weather form shinies added which i will say about time because having all the different cast forms really doesn't matter but i do have them <laughs> and then they show up and i just i candy them because like what's the point so this will be a point okay now or I, or i won't catch them right i just don't take i don't bother to catch them but in shinies in i'd bother to catch them yeah because up them. until now the only shiny we've had is for regular cast form I don't know why I typed in old instead of done, but I did. That's a little <laughs> behind baseball in our notes. So, wh uh, so which what do you those, think? I was going to say, which one do you do you like the most? I kind of like rain the rainy form the most, I think. I've always liked the water form, the rain form. It's just very distinctive. I don't know. The, the sun cast form just looks like sun flora, you know, to me a little bit. Uh, the regular ones just, sorry, bud. We're going to take a pass on this one. Um, and the snow one is cool. The snow one is is distinctly different uh, yeah, as far all, as just regular form. All of them, their faces, they change the color of their faces the most. Like, there's some subtle changes to the rest of it, but their faces got more vibrant. Yeah. Yeah. It's like they're superheroes wearing costumes versus being <laughs> that thing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. Uh, so do your regular they, they cast went, form. Now so, slide over to your shiny. So cast form is is Ben Ten. Mm. <laughs> you know, except at this point, instead of turning into aliens, they they get different uh, elements. It's like Ben Eight right now. We're working on the ten. We're kind of getting it, there. It's Captain Planet. I mean, um, yeah, yeah. The regular cast form is. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not super excited about cast form in general. Like, to me, <laughs> I'm just like okay. Going between the regular cast form and the shiny is like being on a uh, startup screen for an RPG, and you're picking: do you want to be male or female, male or female. Not that those colors are distinctly male or female, but that's how it does in the game, right? Even on Nintendo, you're making a me. It's boys have the blue color, girls have the pink color. Um, then you get into the superhero forms after that. You know, even the regular ones kind of look like superheroes now that they've updated the graphics. So, I don't know. It's interesting. You know what I'd like to know, Joe? Here's what I'd actually like to know. We used to really look hard into this, and, and Reddit would study it. Uh, with all the graphical updates, because the game looks worlds different than when it launched. Yeah, you know, with the resolutions and the depth of, of coloring and everything else. Um. What's, the, what's it doing to our battery life? Even though we've got new modern phones and it processes differently and, and the battery, what's this game actually doing? To, we used to know that all the time, right? 
we should know how fast our batteries would die. And Reddit was like fascinated with studying. Yeah, it. it it just kills your battery, and people have accepted it. It still does. Yeah, very much so. But I'm more okay with it when I see the shadows actually react to the lighting source in the game, and I see the resolutions on the thing. Like, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. You you just eat that battery. It'd be okay. I'll let you do that. <laughs> I mean, at this point, anyone who goes out to play pokemon go either they're planning on a short trip or they're bringing an energy bank with them i mean that's yeah. that's just how it is so yeah you know and it's not it's not just pokemon go if i play an hour of my marvel game um my battery goes from full to a quarter you know in that hour give or take yeah but where do you play your your marvel game in my hands on my phone i mean at yeah, at home, though, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And so Pokemon Go is meant, I mean, not right now because, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 I got, I got where but you're it, going. But you're meant to be out and about with it. And so a lot of people, when it comes to other games, are like, okay, I've got a plug in three different directions from me. Let me just go grab yeah, a cord. That's true. Whereas with Pokemon Go, especially when it first came out, it's like, oh, my battery is quickly diminishing. Yeah. I need to plug in, but I'm outside. Let me just yep. plug that into that tree over there. Wait, that doesn't yeah. work. Well, you know, that, that solar panel battery packs were a very big deal when this thing first came out. Those were selling like hotcakes. Uh, but I stuck with my brand Anchor. I wonder, got a couple anchor packs. could Pokemon Go even, or could the that battery pack even keep up with Pokemon Go? I have no idea. Anchor can, but I don't. I don't know about the solar powered one. Oh yeah, I yeah. No it, Anchor, Anchor puts out some good battery banks. I love Anchor so much. Um, I, I will. I, they don't sponsor us. You can Anchor. We will absolutely take your sponsorship all day long. Uh, you know, I, I too am. I'm a big casting fan of Thunderbolt. <laughs> you know, a Pikachu hit Thunderbolt sponsored by Anchor. Um, I would do that, but no, I, I will pay a premium for their product over a cheaper product because of how good they are because not just a name i mean it's it's side by side my wife will get the the oh, i don't need all that battery packs right and the cheap ones and she'll go try to charge her phone and it might charge her phone in Half three way. hours oh one time well you know so it's, 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 oh yeah okay you're right it depends on how cheap it is it <laughs> might just charge it halfway but let's just play av you know advocacy that's going to charge it fully it takes like two or three hours, and that's the one charging the thing. You got to charge the bank. My my battery pack will charge two iPhones in like thirty minutes to full charge, and still have two more charges left on it. Easy. Oh yeah, the the power bank that um, Paul Puck got me before go that first yeah. Go Fest I went to is amazing. Like I, yes. I I made sure it was fully charged before I left. And I didn't charge that power bank the entire weekend, and I was right. using it constantly. Not only and sometimes other because it had it has two USB uh, plugins, so sometimes other people were using off of it too. And when I got home, it still had like forty percent of the charge left. Yeah, Amazing. and anybody were convinced we don't even have an Amazon link that we can give you. We don't have anything that we're 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 getting off of this, right? So, uh, because I was just actually putting it down, I have an anchor wireless charger right here on my desk and I can leave this game open and it'll actually still overcharge the game to charge my phone. Right. So the game is draining it, but it'll still charge better than the game is draining. If that makes sense. Uh, Diva site says anchor should license the Pokemon logo. You know, they, they, they could, if they had built it, there was a Pokeball charger that I had looked at for the first go fast that came out. There's some knockoff quick to market thing. But if a real company like Anchor had gotten it, those things would be gold right now. I mean, I'd have probably two or three of them, you know, around. Um, Aki is decent. Shift works. All right, we're getting off topic. But yeah, no, I agree with you. I, I, Aki is okay if you want to knock off a of Anchor. Uh, right. <laughs> uh, there's, there's another PokeCoin Remote Raid Pass bundle coming. There right? is. So... Uh, a couple weeks ago, they gave us a one coin bundle. You know, maybe it's because I I went on a rant, what, two episodes back about yeah. how uh, Niantic is just trying to money grub for with the remote raid passes. And they're like, well, actually, here, here's some remote raid passes. 
And, but yeah, um, they're they're giving us a third. So they gave us one a couple weeks back. They gave us one last week. They're giving a, they're gonna give us a third, um, three remote raid pass bundles for one Pokey coin. Ooh. It's it'll be here on September twenty first uh, through the twenty mm. ninth. And if you haven't collected the previous one, it'll be here for the next two days. It'll be here till the nineteenth at one p.m. Pacific time. Uh, I have collected that, and I just realized I don't have any remote raid passes. I guess I used my last one last night. So I'll see. If somebody invites me, I can buy some real quick. I have the coin still, you know, from where I put some money in. Um, I'll, I'll buy I'll buy the, the – oh, no, there's a one-coin raid, raid pass right there. Boom. That must be the one from I had last week. It. Maybe you didn't grab it. I thought I – maybe I did. Well, there you go. I maybe grabbed it grabbed and now have raid one. passes. So that, would that make – Four, will this one coming out make four that they've put out since the introduction of remote raid passes? That uh, feels like it. In September, there it'll it'll be the third in September. I don't know. I can't remember. And how then many they, did they, did yeah, that. they did one. They, they did that. They did at least one introduced. before that. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So yeah. So we're on the same page. So oh, I'm glad I went and looked real quick to see how much coins I had. Well, oh, there's a blue box. I'll take it for one coin. Yeah. And, I have they, no oh, and they goodness. gave us another free box. Did you see that? Oh, uh, they gave me two. Well, yeah, no, no, no. There's the daily one that they've been giving us, but they gave us and then the bonus, a bonus okay. one. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was special from like before. We're like, I got the free box, and Joe does it. Niantic <laughs> doesn't embrace the underscore and embraces the casual. Uh, oh man, yeah, I did see that tonight, and that's that's to be honest with the traveling and the work. I I probably went a couple of days without even opening the game. So once I found out my gotcha was dead, then it was like, okay, it was just get up. And you, anybody who's met me, you know I am not a morning person. So getting up at 7 in the morning so I can get over to Starbucks to get some coffee to then go and start lecturing as soon as I walk in the door, essentially. It was a, it was a rough couple of days, both weeks. So, yeah, uh, I probably missed out on some bonus boxes. I definitely missed out on free stuff uh, because they give me a free box every day. But, yeah, I did see that tonight. So what's the deal with the bonus box that they made an announcement? They said, is it just there? No, it's just there. Okay. Maybe they realized people were running out of Pokeballs, and they're like, here, here's a little bit more. I don't know. All right, so there was a good panicked post put out by the <laughs> Self Road that has a PSA coming. iOS 14 is officially launching tomorrow. This was two days ago. Do not update your device yet. And it basically goes into how uh, it won't work. Pokemon Go po uh, will not work. Well, Pokemon Go podcast won't work if it's iTunes. But Pokemon <laughs> Go won't work if it's iOS 14. And my both my kids uh, figured out how to get into the beta. And I'll tell you, Joe, if you haven't seen any screenshots or anything, this is, for me, this is a really solid update. It's a major change. Oh, like, really? Uh, iOS 12 was, I think, where we went all pastel. And you got everything was new and different. And they rearranged everything. And once you got used to it, it's better. Seeing the kids play with the beta is going to be better, but it was not good for Pokemon Go, and I'll let you take it from there. Yeah, so Niantic was really, really cutting it close on this one, um, but yeah, Pokemon Go was completely broken in iOS 14. They put out the new version of Pokemon Go um, yesterday, or maybe late, late the night before, uh, and it according to Niantic, fixes the issues with Pokemon Go in iOS 14. Um, so the, uh, people are reporting that they're that it's working fine. Uh, I personally have not downloaded iOS 14 just yet. Uh, but, yeah. And a little off topic, I believe all the devices, Apple devices, are getting the updates. Then my laptop hit me today saying, hey, major update is ready. Uh, but I got to plug it in and all that jazz. So, just uh, to me, it's happy and scary time all the way around because I love new things. I love going, ooh, major update. What's it going to look like? What new thing am I going to go? I never knew. I mean, <laughs> that's the scary part. What's it going to break? Um, and the answer is, well, our game, for one. Uh, but apparently it's been fixed. Uh, you know what? Barry, Barry Falk is somewhere in the world. Where in the world is Falk B? Yeah, with um, his. 12 phones well not quite he he's, nah, yeah he's, he's no he's no pokey grandpa yeah right <laughs> pokemon go grandpa no but he he normally does have 
three or four phones on him because because yeah. of the nature of his work. Um, so he not had, to tell what he does, but he he tests technology to make sure the company he works for the stuff works with all the new technology. So he legit has three or four of the 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 top model and like one of the top model of each major brand, like Samsung and, and Apple, and then then the, like the next tier down because he's always having to figure out for the company what works. So that's why he has four or five phones. Cause it sounds weird. If you don't explain it, it sounds like, <laughs> well, yo, he's just always got like five or six phones. So he's baller like that. I mean, he is, <laughs> but that's not why he does it. And riding in his car, he's got, uh, stands for each of them. Bloop, 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 yes, bloop. and they're always that Pokemon Go on them. I love it. <laughs> and when we were at, at Go Fest, he had like four uh, gotchas on his wrist, and yeah, it it yeah. Oh yeah, I took a picture a of that, and posted it out. It's so good. Yep, it's so good. Um, I'm actually checking for a software. Oh, there, there's and a software update. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. it assuming Go Fest happens in person this next year. Uh, whoever comes, if if you're there on the same day as Barry, you need to meet him. He's he's the nicest guy you could meet. If you're not there on the same day as Barry, don't even bother going. Honestly, it's <laughs> not the same. And it's just it's not the same. Go fest without Barry being there. It just isn't. Uh, he's the coolest dude. He's one of the coolest people I've ever met. And I know Brian Ibbett. Um. So yeah, he's 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 just a cool dude. Uh, but yeah, suppose, suppose they fix it. And if this works, I've got my phone on charger and it's downloading the, the update. Maybe it'll be finished by the time we finish this podcast and I'll let yeah, you know. Right. Yeah, this is a going. major update. It's going to take a long time. And I'm on my gig speed down the internet. We'll see. It, it might. You're, you're right. You might. All right. One more big thing to dive in here. You've We've got, got, you've got a gig. I finally got the gigs download. Yeah. Wow. But with the old house and the, 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 asbestos or whatever it is is blocking signals in this house uh there's certain spots that the signal doesn't do well mm. um but i've got a google puck right here i should be blazing off of that so we'll see we'll see uh and squishy says it works fine in ios 14 okay all right so so all right there, there is we don't have a lot, a lot of, of people saying that it's good good now we don't have a lot of times there there's a uh so speak pot i speak right to play and an explanation of the song that we played earlier so Hit us with the high points of this teardown, Joe. We don't need a TED Talk. Uh, we just need the high points. Clearly, point. the highest point is that Gust has been added to the game. That, that is 100% the best part of the teardown. Easily. I see, easily. I see what you did there, <laughs> and it's funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, a lot of it is uh, Halloween costumes that are coming. Halloween 2020 costumes. And a lot of uh, a lot of those Pokemon will not be able to evolve uh, according to the the notes, which is always sad. I do not like it when that happens. Um, so yeah, we're getting a couple of new filters for searching. So uh, we, you've already got a filter for evolve or evolve with item and stuff like that, and they're um, doing mega evolve filter and things like that. Apparently. Um, now this is weird. It'll be interesting to see how it works, but apparently we're getting another NPC. Uh, so yeah, apparently it said Willow. Pro yeah, Professor Willow is getting a friend. So we're gonna get some new quest dialogue apparently. So, all right, that'll be fun. Is it? Is is Professor Willow's friend Ash's mom? Because that would make sense. Uh, no, it's Ash's mom's Mister Mime. The one that cleans her house and does the cooking. That that's who we're getting. I know, I know. We already have Mr. <laughs> Mime in the game. So try to go um, a little elsewhere. Supposedly we're gonna get some new fitness fitness related rewards. Uh can't tell a whole lot from just the teardown, so we'll have to wait and see what that is. Um hidden shop items. Very interesting. I wonder what they're gonna hide from us. Who knows? Um, I love the tags though. Refresh with promise should show in shop and is SKU SKU available. But like the refresh with promise, that sounds like a Febreze tagline. Um, this one will well if you've got plenty of memory on your phone will be happy to some people. Um, so Wizards Unite. Right from the get-go, they made it so that you could download all of the assets directly to your mm. phone. 
Now, good load faster, yeah. Yeah, it makes the game load faster, but it does take up a lot more room on your phone. Apparently, this this feature is also going to be coming to Pokemon Go. Um, so that's fun. There's a bunch of AR stuff do, to do with the AR mapping um, that they've been rolling out to the highest tier Android phones. Uh, you and I both have iOS, so we haven't been able to even try that. We've only seen a couple of videos that they've shown us. Um, but yeah, I've got a fairly high tier phone. They just haven't. Rolled well, but stuff yeah, out they've only it. rolled it out to Android. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, but there's more, more stuff with that. Um, what phone do you have? Do you have the 11? I, th- I have the, I have the, the 10, <laughs> the X. I think I got the X R 10 X R cause 11 came out. Eleven's the newest one, right, with the three cameras. So no, yeah, no, no, yeah, I got the ten XR, which is still second tier. I mean, not in quality, but it's the second. It's a generation back from the newest. The newest being the eleven. Yeah, I like my yeah. ten. I'm just gonna ride it till it dies. That's kind of. I get the upgrade once I pay it off, basically. Yeah, I don't want to. It was for me. It was a bucket list thing, right? Because I usually stay two or three generations back. And I went in to get my kids small burner phones or something. And they're like, hey, even with what you have on your thing now, if you trade it in, you can get the brand NX XR, XS, XR, XR, I think what I have is, is it was the brand new phone. I'm like, you know, I've always kind of wanted to do that. Just, just because it's like, I want to pre-order. I haven't done it this year and I'm not probably not going to, but I've always want to pre-order a new console, right? Just to get it gained the day of launch, right? Just, I don't know. Because you mean you don't have never a good you don't have the new stuff yet the PS5 or whatever the newest I don't even yeah, know what the newest stuff one is. always see Joe don't even try I can <laughs> I can sit here for an hour and talk to you about the newest stuff we're not gonna do that what else excites you <laughs> about this teardown man uh, I think that's pretty much everything a lot of it's just upkeep in the background um, there is some ingress code for um, uh, place of interest image gallery and voting so that's the um wayfair wayfair wayfinder wayfair wayfair stuff i i always get those mixed up and apparently in game some of it's mixed up too but anyway yeah and then the rest of it's just background logging stuff so looks like debugging stuff all right cool so before we get into trivia time that music. So I've been asking everybody, hey, if you find music, weird, fun, whatever, it just caught your attention. If you find something, send it to me. I'll put it in that rotation of when we come back from break. I love I love letting you help shape the show. That that helps. That makes you feel like we're co-creating, right? It's our show together. And uh, Brian Salazar sent in that music. He says, hello, I found this today, and it made me think, WTF is this? <laughs> I thought it might be good for the podcast. Love the show. And I, I looked at and I played it straight from my email because I, I forgot to do go and because I, I can make my computer listen to it, record it, and then cut the pieces out. But that one, I will tell you what the actual song is, is from YouTube. And it is Pika to Pico. And actually, I'm going to play a little bit more right now. Pico. From the, Pico. And it's, the, it's this dude, like he says, the, the pineapple pen, pencil guy. Yeah, the pen pineapple apple pen. Yeah, so he's dressed in all gold, and he's just having so much fun. It's DJ Pikachu, and then every person in the video is him or somebody in the Pikachu costume. So, thank you, Brian, for sending that in. It is it is a lot of fun. I'm very happy. Yeah, and I linked it in the chat that. as well. Awesome, awesome. So there was that. It's time for Speak Pipe. Are you 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 think you can handle this, Joseph? Uh, uh, maybe. Your mustache says yes. All right. So this is from Mr. Tom. Ooh, Mr. Tom. Oh, hey, my name's Tom. And I just want to say that Bridget or Robert or whatever his name is, (laughs) is a frog. Oh, (laughs) choose a better name, bro. (laughs) Crazy name. Bridget Jones's Diary. (laughs) That's a good movie. Anyway, I love the show. Bye-bye. Oh my God, Bridget Jones's Diary! Oh what? man, 
<laughs> oh, that was so good because it's not even the initials don't even. I, I get them out of order to get Bridget to make it something you can say. It's actually like PJR. So that is so good, Robert. You're a fraud. There you go. So uh, that that you know, I when I think I've got Tom pinned down of what's going to happen, be he 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 takes a sharp corner on us. And, and if you're in our Discord, uh, we do have an exclusive chat room just for the Fraud Club members. So, yeah. And Robert is in the Discord, so he now has access to the Fraud Club exclusive Discord channel. All right. Then this, we did get it last week, uh, but it was through SpeakPipe, so I've got the, the fresh out-of-the-studio version. I wanted to play again just for fun. <laughs> My name is Cheeky. Cheeky Nashville. This is Cheeky Nashville, and I'm from Nashville. A place so hard that I need an Advil. I listen to the show, y'all already know. Charles is okay, but a crazy joke. It took Charles four years to hit the 40th level. Romo <laughs> Brady's here, now it's pedal to the metal. Here in Nashville, it's always scorching. My man Joe is the underscore kid. My last name is Nashville, my first name is Cheeky. Tom is a fraud, that's my experience of the week. Recording live every Thursday, people need to check it out. Joe and Charles are two gods, listen to the words come. Coming out my mouth. Cheeky, 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 cheeky Nashville. Yeah. Uh, I love the Joe. Oh, so good. So good. <laughs> cheeky, cheeky, uh, cheeky, 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 cheeky Nashville. Have, I'm going to put it in rotation for coming out of, of the break, but uh, I had to keep it separate for tonight. That was so good. Joe, what time is it? It is time for random and trivia. Trivia. <laughs> and this week I wanted to talk about cast form, quote unquote, the weather Pokemon. Um, normal form is normal type, sunny form is fire type, rainy form is water type, and snowy form is ice type. Um, now, depending on where you live, depends on which versions you get near you. Uh, I personally have never seen a snowy form outside of events, um, but you know living in the south will do that considering you and i are in the 90s while uh brian is sending us pictures yeah. of the snow in his snow. backyard <laughs> yeah um but yeah so cast form um it's pokedex entry says and it can be implied from the different forms but its form changes with the weather and that's how it works in game as well Whatever weather you currently have will determine what form cast form spawns as. Um, this Pokemon gained the ability to use the vast power of nature to protect its tiny body. Um, so yeah, little super powered Pokemon. Uh, cast form has a special move um, that isn't in Pokemon Go, and a lot of people are wondering when it will come to Pokemon Go. At least I'm pretty sure it's not in Pokemon Go yet. Now I'm questioning myself. Um, but uh, its its move is called Weather Ball. And, oh, it is in Pokemon Go. I stated incorrectly. Um, but yeah, so Weather Ball is a move that will always receive Stab... Um, so stab is same type attack bonus um, in any of its forms. So in the main series games, Weather Ball, it's uh, a, the type of Weather Ball is whatever type cast form currently is. Um, so you can see on my screen right here, I have a normal cast form and it's yep. Weather Ball is a normal type. All right. Yep. Um, All right. Let's see if any of my other ones have Weather Ball. Uh, let's see, searching for a specific move, you have to put the at symbol, don't you? Um, so no, none of the other ones have Weather Ball. Uh, but yeah, that's how it works in the main series games and apparently also in Pokemon Go. Uh, I didn't think they had added it yet, so I stand corrected there. Um, but only my most recent cast form has it, so I'm fairly certain it did not have it when it first came out. Anyway, um, cast form is um i mean to cast 
it could be just talking about uh, when I think of cast, I think of a programming language because I'm a programmer. And when you cast something, you change it from one variable type to another variable type. Okay. Um, All right. However, uh, the it probably actually comes from forecast. But when I think of cast, that's the first thing I think of. And then form uh, comes from transform. So cast form. And yeah, a lot of fun. This little guy, uh, Shiny, will be here shortly. So get out and grab whichever forms you have available to you. Yeah, man. And and, and I'm going to be looking. I want to be checking and seeing what we can do. Oh, man. But speaking of casting and forming, we got to go change into something else i don't i don't know we'll get, i don't know where it's going with that. uh but you can actually email us show at pokemon go podcast.com it works i'm happy it does uh, work again <laughs> yeah go to uh, uh but unfortunately real quick hmm? unfortunately yeah. getting it to oh, yeah, work cleared out our inbox so yeah. if you sent an email and we never talked about it we don't have that email anymore uh, so if you would like us to talk about it, could you resend the email? Yes. I, it doesn't matter if like, well, it was like 30 shows ago. It doesn't matter now. No, no, no. We want to read it. We'll be like, here, we're going to do like two topics today and the mailbag because we didn't realize it was messed up. It took forever to figure out that it was broken and it was messed up. So we had, I, I don't want to go into all of it. We had two ways to check the email and one was not accurate. Let's just put it that way. Another one broke. So but yeah, I'm with you, Joe. Please, you know, send it back in. If you sent music, if you sent anything, you know, and you can hear us through the the dust tumbleweeds that is iTunes, you know, please send in the email. We will absolutely read it. Uh, then, of course, you want to leave a, a speak pipe like Mister Tom did. You can go to PokemonGoPodcast.com and there's that speak pipe tab right on the right hand side. Just click it. Use your phone, tablet, computer, anything with a microphone. Leave your message. We'll play it on the show. Run it. R slash Pokemon Go podcast. Yes, Joe? Nothing. Oh, you're, you're just giving me the, the Mountain Dew vibe. Like, I got it. Thanks, <laughs> uh, Facebook is slash Pokemon Go podcast. Twitter's at Pokemon Go pod. And we do this Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. Twitch.tv slash Pokemon Go podcast. You can watch it live. Be part of the crowd here. And if you are in here, like Shift works in here, Squishy Twitchy. Go out to the people you know may or may not listen to the show and tell them, hey, iTunes is broken. Shift over anchor.fm slash Pokemon Go podcast. You can pull the clean RSS feed. You can still use Apple Podcasts if that's your choice. I mean, if that's your download app, you can just put our feed from Anchor into iTunes or Apple Podcasts, whatever you're using, and get it that way. Uh, Because that's the only way you're going to get it because we're about four shows behind now uh, for that. So, Thank you for those who have gotten the new stuff. And, uh, yeah, Joe, where can they find you on the web? You can find me on Twitter at Joseph underscore Ard. You can find me at Rock Out of Podcast on uh, – or Rock Out of Pod on Twitter, yeah. And where can they oh. find you on Saturday? Saturday, you can find me on twitch.tv slash DC Digital Media, where I'm going to sit with my buddy Hugh Morrison, and we're doing Dragon Con panels throughout the year. Is what this is and this is the one for september and we're going to talk about audio editing and keep it on a super simple level because i just i love keeping things simple and understandable he's got a whole lot of high-end knowledge i'm going to interpret it between the two levels we're going to talk about uh, how to improve your editing and production so that'll be at eight o'clock on twitch.tv slash dc digital media and uh and you can also check out finding the stories anchor.fm slash finding the stories or just go to charlesmcfall.com tune in next week to hear joe say uh if i get a snow a, a the snow form of cast form during this event i will be blown away you know what i <laughs> i will put 20 more dollars into the game immediately after i get it why yep gonna happen yep okay niantic i'm calling you out <laughs> Give me because shiny, we don't get shiny snow, where we are. snow cast form. Yep. Uh, <laughs> all right. That that's <laughs> <laughs> that's something else. All right. Uh, I am going to go ahead and render this because I got to edit elsewhere tomorrow. I'm uh, not sure how many. Uh, we got a few. I saw. Oh, in. 
Oops, I put the wrong. Maybe if I typed it correctly. There we go. Uh, this is at 216, yeah. 216. There are two, three. iTunes is a fraud. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, I love that one. I love that one right now. Oh, you know what? That's dumb. Sorry. Stop. Coming in right at the end, Snake Doctor. God, Snake Doctor always keeps swooping in with, 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 you know, we just have to give him a producer credit. Like, no, he just names the shows. We don't, we don't even take a vote anymore. He just names the shows. Oh, uh, in there. Oh, let me turn that off so it's not back pushing on us. Um, uh, yeah, because I'm going to be on the ambulance tomorrow. So I'm going to put, uh, this. We'll go ahead and render out the show and then drop it in the Dropbox so I can edit it tomorrow. Take care of it. It'll be good. But let's see what the other ones were. I know you put one in. Okay, we got iTunes is a fraud, which is is running away with the votes right now. Uh, you put in Rock Off Technical Difficulties. See, that's, <laughs> see, that's, that's not even my fault. There's nothing like, oh, no, I did No. Not even in my house. This is... Evil corporations keeping the man down. If I pick <laughs> something in this show, they break something. Then Pokemon Go. I love this one too. Coach Kev's getting a vote. Pokemon Go podcast 20x 5G with Bluetooth for a random number generator phone that we're going to make. Uh, but that is, uh, is it done rendering? No, there it is. Dun, dun, dun. Green giant. Uh, so how long are you going to humor your children, Joe? <sighs> I'm definitely shaving it off before my birthday. So at the long so a week at the, at the at two weeks at the most. Yeah. What does your wife think of it? Uh, she's just like, eh. She's like, you're such a good dad. Yeah, pretty much. But I don't like it. <laughs> I, I, I've been telling. <laughs> I can't do it. I need oh Tom just to write in his fraud. Tom needs to see write in text his fraud and let me. Go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love this toy. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see what we got here. And actually, you know what? I'll give a shout out to everybody that's in. Uh, we've got Agent Diablo here, uh, Coach Kev, Commander Root, which is about, you know, me, LAP, Lady Jasmine, both here. Got a lot Shift of lurkers work. tonight. Snake Doctor 77, Squishy Twishy. That is all good stuff right there. Uh, and we'll be putting out uh, after, I guess it'll be tomorrow when we put out the show. Uh, we'll put out another announcement about how the feed's broken. Please check it out here. But here's the new show. Uh, but then Joe will never, uh, and then after that, I'll schedule one for the Reddit discussion question as well. All right. Well, that's going to be the render. And yeah, four to three. We'll give everybody another minute. If you really want the the phone by us to win the title, you can. That'd be Coach Cavs. Uh, then I, but right now, iTunes is a fraud, is Snake Doctors. And I've just had this battle with I, man, I, I, they just, mm-hmm. it's not. I could go through a history of, of iTunes and Apple and podcasting and how just they've always. But it's, it's not like we can get off iTunes. Like two thirds of our listeners are on iTunes. More than that, apparently. So yeah, I, and that's mm. anyway. It just it just <sighs> take my blood pressure medication. Okay. <laughs> so, all right, I think that's gonna be it, Joe. Looks like it's gonna be iTunes is a fraud. Takes it home. iTunes is a fraud. It's it. It, it's, it's the Walmart of digital it, media. They <laughs> trick you into. Mm, Whoever mm. decided it was a good idea that you can't change ownership of of your RSS feed in iTunes. Not a it good is, idea. Not a good idea. It's the worst gatekeeping software ever. It is, it, and they've. It's been so detrimental to the the podcast community. But yeah. All right, that's gonna be it. Um, shut us down, Joe. Thank you everybody for coming out. No, iTunes is equals confirmed fraud. <laughs> yeah. So it is very true. But yeah, let's remember anchor.fm is where the real feed's at. So yeah, I did that. link that up above in the chat. So. So. All right. Well, have a good All night, right, everybody. everybody.